Fly Fishing with the Guides, featuring Steve Henderson. Let's go have some fun. High mountain streams with crystal clear water, rivers and lakes full of strong, healthy fish. Catching them on dry flies, streamers and nymphs any season of the year. Steve Henderson and his guests are your guides to fantastic fly fishing action on their favorite waters. That was great. The fish are beautiful. And a few get away too. The scenery is always breathtaking. Fly Fishing with the Guides, featuring Steve Henderson. His guest guide today is Jed Collins and we'll be fishing in Northwest Colorado on a beautiful Indian summer day. Come on along, it's a great day to go fishing on Fly Fishing with the Guides. while since we've done any fishing. It has been. But a good day off today. About prime weather. Things have started slowing down. I mean, we've been guiding all summer long and fall time is one of my favorite times of the year to go fishing. It always is. I can't wait. It's, it's like a, a kid again getting ready to, to go fishing for for the first time, kind of anticipation. We're on the water all the time, but we don't get a chance to go fishing on our own. Yep. This is a great time of the year to go fishing, and I, I can't wait. What are you gonna fish with? You know, I'm gonna rig up one rod with a streamer, I believe, mm -hmm. and uh, and then one, you know, maybe with a nymph. I'm gonna take a couple of rods along, too. I'll probably do the same thing. Streamer up a hole. Nymph, nymph a hole. Yeah. And if we get lucky, we might see some, some dry fly action. Blue wings, mahogany. Yeah. Typical, typical. Nice yeah. cloud cover for it, so it's looking looking good. Let's go down that first hole and catch a big fish. Let's do it. Jed and I don't get to fish together as often as we like, but we tend to fish a lot the same way. We approach the river the same way. We approach the holes the same way. What I mean by that is we tend to look for some fish. We're gonna use our polarized glasses to spot fish, look for rising fish, insect hatch, movement in the water, anything that might grab our attention. We didn't happen to see anything on this very first hole, so we decided to approach this hole with a streamer. It's a good way to work the water pretty fast, cover a lot of water. You know you're covering fish when you're doing a, a streamer technique. It was cold in the morning, too cold for a hatch to happen. Streamers would be the best approach here, and this is what we did. Jed just hooked up on a streamer. Looks like a real nice rainbow. Jed said it just came up and took it real light. Not a real heavy grab at all. Jed had a wonderful fish on the line. We weren't able to land the fish. Jed got everything he wanted out of it though, just like he said. The weather was cold and the skies overcast to start the day and the water temperature was a chilly 40 degrees. It was my turn to fish and I decided to continue throwing streamers down this run, hoping for a hookup. On one cast, a fish hit my streamer twice, very lightly, on the same retrieve, but I couldn't seal the deal. Jed and I decided to leave this hole and try our luck upstream. As we began our walk, the sun broke through the clouds and we could see some rising fish in the distance. You know Jed and I can't resist casting to rising fish. When we return on Fly Fishing with the Guides.